what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a very, very short video um, to show you a problem that we see a lot where users are being orphaned once they are being created in the creation process, meaning that um, we'll have a lot of users who only have one specific event or multiple events, but they're not tied together because of the identity resolution not working properly. Um, usually that happens when front-end services or the client-side libraries and server-side or back-end services um, are you being used uh, and they're not being tied up together. Uh, at that point, we create that problem. Um, what is the impact for you and why am I telling you this? Because um, from a pricing perspective or billing perspective, Mixpanel bills on monthly tracked user, MTAUs, right? So you better have your resolution um, figured out, otherwise you might run into trouble and actually inflate your MTAUs higher than they are and get billed more than you should. Next to that, all of your KPIs could be in danger. Uh, KPIs related to um, active users, monthly, weekly, daily active users. If the number of users is not correct because you're not resolving users correctly in Mixpanel, then you basically falsify those KPIs. Let's have a quick look at a very practical example. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send in four events, an article viewed, a sign up started, a sign up completed, and a another article viewed. Now, why is, does it have this weird shape? Because we're actually mimicking uh, a client side and a server side, um, bunch of calls towards Mixpanel, where these first two calls are gonna be done from the front end using a JavaScript library. The back end service, we're gonna use a Node.js library and the last front end event, we're gonna send in using a client side library again, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna use TrackLab, which is our human 37 um, testing playground environment. Um, and I've already went ahead and uh, Mixpanel is by the way installed here. So as soon as I loaded the page, I got a new anonymous ID or distinct ID as the JavaScript library calls it attributed. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna send in um, an article viewed event, which is this, and I'm immediately gonna send in a uh, sign up started event. And so what we'll see here is if I kind of click this open is that, well, this ID ends with C, actually it's this one, doesn't really matter at this stage, but um, it's, it's actually the same as that we see here. I'm gonna copy the string. And so you see that these events are being sent with those identifiers. I'm actually gonna add a, oops, that's the wrong button. I'm gonna add a layer and we're gonna put in a post-it with that specific value so we can keep track of it, okay? So these events were sent in using this identifier. Um, if we now look at Mixpanel, at the event stream, we see this exact thing, right? We see article viewed, sign up started, and we see the distinct ID as well ending with C65D, which is what I've put in here, right? Now imagine, so this user went through that journey, viewed an article, decided to sign up, so the sign up started event got triggered. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna send in a server side event, and we're gonna send in a um, very simple call from a Node.js backend, which is sign up completed. And all of a sudden we have a distinct ID. Why? Because the sign up is completed, the account is created, the backend services of my platform provisioned a distinct ID and we're now sending that backend call, that track call with a distinct ID to Mixpanel saying, hey, we have a sign up completed for the distinct ID, video test ID one, two, three. I'm gonna change that identity test one, two, three. I'm gonna quickly save it, otherwise it won't work. Shut down my server, spin it up again. So the event, poof, makes it into Mixpanel. If we wait a couple of minutes, we probably, or we should at least, um, see it arrive and here it is. So we have a sign up complete. Note that this is still one customer journey, right? I'm one customer journey, I'm one customer. I have an article viewed, I have a sign up started and I have a sign up completed. The difference is that in the beginning, we had an anonymous ID that in the context of JavaScript library, Mixpanel uses as a distinct ID to send in the hits. And then from a backend, we provisioned an actual distinct ID and we send it in using a sign up completed call where we set the distinct ID to identity test one, two, three. So all of a sudden we have two users. Now what happens next is the user in our flowchart continues to go to um, an article viewed. So this is what we have here. We're sending in another article viewed event. And so even though we got a new distinct ID, I didn't use the proper method in order to sync that up with the front end, right? So what you're gonna see is, and I might even wanna click in, here it is. You see that the first 
article viewed and the sign up served are done under a anonymous ID that became the distinct ID in Mixpanel. Then our server send in the fact that a sign up was completed and we actually have a distinct ID right now. But then the user continued browsing and actually send in hits under that same anonymous ID that was the distinct ID, right? So basically, if you look at it, you basically have two users. Um, a, oops, a user with this ID and a user that has uh, identity tests one, two, three. And the question is like, if we don't sync them up, we're gonna have orphaned users. Now imagine that a user shuts down the browser, um, takes the phone, um, goes back to the website and provisions a new ID, basically you, you might run into trouble and journeys might never get synced up again. That's why it's super important to actually call, um, and I'm gonna give this another color, it's actually a very bad choice of color because we already have that, a mixpanel.identify call. And let's just see oops, what that does for our identity cluster, right? Now I'm gonna show you two things. I'm gonna click into this user and look at the identity graph, which is the anonymous ID with the customer journey for that user. And we're gonna click in this user and look at the identity graph here. And there's only one event, right? Now, the way we wanna sync this up is by simply calling mixpanel.identify. And we're gonna send in, I just wanna make sure I get this right, um, identity test. Where are you, buddy? Here. So now we're sending in an identify call. Now imagine the user continues and I'm just gonna wait a minute before I send this in. Um, and we go back to our event list. I'm actually not sure if this will show up, but there's an identify call and there's an identify call for this user. Now, what you need to pay attention to is something very interesting. I'm gonna click in this ID, which previously, and this is a loaded page, only contains this ID, right? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click into this. And what you'll see is that the identity cluster gets completed. While in the past, or a couple of seconds ago, actually the user profile with identity test also included only one identity. If I now click into it, it's purple. And now you get redirected because all of these things are merged up. And now you see a nice customer journey that makes sense. So it's really important for you guys to think about the uh, way you manage identities when backends and frontend systems are involved and how you use the different mixed panel methods in order to make sure that all lines up.